I'm freezing. I did not pack appropriate clothes. I should have stayed on that bus and just drank whiskey all day and played video games. What's up? Johnny, Johnny's getting the hell out of here. Welcome back to Chris Gaines. This is uh, a great, great, great off day in Ann Arbor, Michigan today. Really, really excited to be here. My favorite day of the week, International Chess Day. It's also Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to all you veterans out there who have served or are still serving. Well, if you're still serving, you're not a veteran. Happy Veterans Day to the veterans out there. Yes, very excited about doing a chest day today. I got the day off, that means I can spend as long as I want at the gym, nobody's gonna rush me. Had all these great plans going to Anytime Fitness, uh, but that has changed and I'll show you why. Look at this <laughs> Look at that. It's like six inches of snow out there, which means I will not be Ubering and I damn sure will not be walking my ass anywhere. So my only option is we're staying at the Kensington Hotel. That sounds so formal, but I guarantee it's not. It's about $129 a night, I think. So I'm gonna do a chest day at the Kensington. I'm probably gonna be eating at the Kensington. I'm probably gonna be doing everything at the Kensington today because you can't walk anywhere else. You can't get anywhere else around here. I'm stuck on this bus. Johnny is saying, I'm getting the hell out of here cabin fever is taking over I'm going crazy he's got to get out of here I've got to get out of here so I'm gonna hit up this gym let me show you what I'm doing I've already scoped out the gym in there uh, it sucks all right it's not great they have a flat bench they have an adjustable flat to incline bench they have up to 50 pound dumbbells no cables I've kind of grown fond of the cables here lately I've incorporated in a lot of what I do no cables, so I'm stuck with pure dumbbells, or as we call a prison workout today. So here we go, this is what I'm doing. That's it. That's a lot of reps, as you can see, because they don't have any big weights in there. So they did have some bands. I may try to incorporate some, some band stuff in there, but I'm gonna start out flat dumbbell press, 10 sets of 15. I'm gonna try to take a minute rest in between those sets. Get a, like a serious, serious pump. Because what I always say, if I cannot do heavy weights, I'm gonna get a tremendous pump. I'm gonna get blood into the muscles. Bye, Johnny. Safe, you got Godspeed. All right, so after flat dumbbell press, I'm gonna move on to incline dumbbell press. Gonna do eight sets. The 12 of those, again, I want to try to keep it a minute rest, get that blood going into the muscles. And then we're going to move on to flies. So I'm going to do a superset of incline dumbbell flies and regular push-ups. Superset, four sets, 12 to 15 rep on the flies, and then just to failure on the push-ups. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm gonna do a flat dumbbell fly superset with a decline push-up. And again, that's gonna be four sets on the flies, 12 to 15 reps, with the decline push-up going to failure every time. So that's it. Let's uh, get some warmer clothes on and walk myself across the street and get to work. All right, here we go. Time to brave the snowstorm. It's probably not a big deal for people that live here in Michigan. For a Texan, it's a huge deal. Look at this shit. A lot of people driving out here, man. This shit happened in Austin. They would shut the city down for a month. I'm freezing. I did not, look at this guy. I did not pack appropriate clothes. Look how deep the snow is. Look at that. 
should have stayed on that bus and just drank whiskey all day and played video games. This is the last set right here. Set number 10 of 10 sets. Dumbbell, flat, bench press. I'm gonna do this last set. If I feel good, I'm gonna do a drop set. Go down 10 pounds, do 40s. But uh, let's knock out 15 right now. That's it for dumbbell flat bench press. We're gonna move on to incline now. top of this video I put out these numbers these goals I was shooting for on the flat bench it was 10 sets 15 reps I didn't really have a whole lot of issue with that felt good but looking back I think I probably could have done 18 on each set and really challenged myself that much more so I didn't want to make that same mistake on the incline so the incline, I had the initial goal of doing eight sets of 12 reps. I did the first one, I did 15, and it seemed rather easy. So I adjusted my goal on this to eight sets with 15 reps on the incline. And I'm about, I think that was number six set. And as you could tell, it's really, really challenging now. So I think I made a good decision on that. I wish I had done this on the flat bench. Okay, I uh, did everything I set out to do. Plus, I'm gonna hit some of this. I'm gonna do a few uh, decline presses with the dumbbell, because this is a bonus. I didn't realize I had this in here, so I'm gonna hit that lower chest a little bit. All right, guys, thank you again for hanging with Chris Gaines today. I hope you learned something. This is a great example today that you don't always have to have the heavy weights to make some gains. And in fact, using the little weights can be fun sometimes. Getting in those reps, putting in that work, getting blood into your muscles. I can't, cannot emphasize getting blood into your muscles enough if you can't tell. Uh, I think getting a pump and creating that fatigue in your muscles is so instrumental to muscle growth. So whether you're working with 20s or 10s or 5s or whatever, push those muscles, get some blood in there, tear those muscles down so they can rebuild, be bigger and better. 
I'm putting a video out every Tuesday, so check back with me next Tuesday for the next video. Feel free to subscribe if you like what you see here. Hit the like button if you wish. We'll see you next time on Chris Gaines.